Welcome back everyone. In today's video, we're talking about how Hemstock has gotten absolutely eviscerated following the Amazon announcement into healthcare. So let's get into that. Um, Hemstock is trading at $20.99 and by the way, Shamma says to like and subscribe. So what's going on? What's going on is Amazon Clinic. What Amazon's direct-to-consumer launch means for Hims, Row, and Healthcare. Oh, wait, this is back in this November 2022. Never mind, old article. Um, okay, what's the new article? What's the new news? <laughs> Amazon Clinic is now Amazon One Medical's pay per visit telehealth service. Here's what it means for our customers. Feeling good, just got better. Oh wait, this was back in June 27th, 2024. Actually, this is what was announced today, but it was announced nearly six months ago. This was announced a very long time ago. So this is old news repurposed to today. So basically what happened was six, six months ago, they announced what they're going to do. And then back on November 14th, you know, they're saying, okay, now we're re releasing what we announced then. So I, I don't think this is worthy of a 35% drop. But let's get into the actual details. What is this? And um, what does it mean for HIMS going forward? And is Amazon a real threat to HIMS? So yeah, it says Amazon introduces low upfront pricing for a tele telehealth visit with treatment plan and fast free medication delivery for men's hair loss, eyelash growth, anti-aging, ED, and motion sickness for prime members. Actually, that's issue number one is you need to be a prime number, a prime member. I am not because I'm cheap. <laughs> so anyway, let's get into this further and see what it means for hims. So yeah, prime members can now ask quickly and easily treat health, beauty, and lifestyle conditions for as low as $16 per, per month for men's hair loss, $10 per month for anti-aging skincare, and $19 per month for ED. Okay, so number one, those prices are lower than HIMSS current prices for those products. I'm just gonna say that upfront, those prices are lower. However, Amazon does require, you'll notice at the bottom, a um, they pay, they charge rather, for a visit to their clinician. So it's a $29 for um, on-demand message, $29 by messaging, and $49 for a, a um, for a telehealth visit with their physician. Hims does this for free. So that's the one thing that Hims has over Amazon in this category. On top of the actual products, Hims also does weight loss, which Amazon does not do. Hims does GLP-1, which Amazon does not do. These are actually the same prices and the same products that Amazon announced six months ago. Nothing changed at all. And there's also confusion over Amazon's product. And here, this is from Amazon's own webpage. So I'm not making this up. It says, can I use my insurance for this offering? Amazon One Medical Paper Visit does not accept insurance for telehealth visits. Amazon Pharmacy accepts most insurance plans. But Primark savings only apply when not using insurance. Amazon Pharmacy and Amazon One Medical both have a wide range of offerings for customers who prefer to pay with insurance. Okay, so this has two issues. Number one is the customer has to sort of pre-qualify for themselves with their insurance company. They, they need to check with their insurance. Hey, do you cover this with Amazon? And that's a long um, bureaucratic mess to figure that out. Number one, so that's issue number one. Issue number two is even if the customer does have insurance and it's accepted by Amazon Pharmacy, um, and they, you know, they, they don't want to pay the prime RX prices. Then comes the question of how does Amazon get paid? So the thing is, there's a lot of negotiations between medical providers and the insurance companies. It's a lot of back and forth, and it can take upwards of six months to receive payment from the insurance company. It takes a very long time, and it's a very big headwind to Amazon fully entering this space. So even offering it as an option to their customers not only creates confusion, but it creates delayed billing, contested billing. Sometimes they go to court. These things go to court a lot. 
believe me. I used to work in a DME company. These go to court a lot. Um, we had a, it was a small company, and we had a lawyer on staff 24, you know, all day, eight hours a day, 40 hours a week. We had a lawyer on staff, and it was a small company. They only sold like 1,500 DME equipment in total, and they needed a permanent lawyer to challenge the insurance companies. So that is actually a huge um, th burden to bear. So Hims doesn't accept insurance at all. They just, they just say, insurance, we don't accept insurance. We're going to offer you these products at low prices. You pay for it out of pocket. You can use your HSA, FSA, whatever. Um, but no insurance is accepted. So there's no question um, on what Hims does and what Hims offers and whether insurance is or isn't accepted. So it simplifies the process. And there's no bureaucratic mess in the middle. So another thing that's going on is it is very difficult to enter the health, the, the telehealth space. Just look at Teladoc. Look at Walmart. Walmart to close. It's 51 health centers and virtual care service. What's virtual health? Virtual care? Telehealth. Um, so this was back in April 30th. Also, United Healthcare also closed their telehealth service. So it's a very difficult business to get into. And I believe Hims is the only profitable telehealth company, um, at least of the public ones, of the ones that we know about. So it's a very difficult business to get into. Now, what else about Hims? Hims has a market cap of $4.4 billion. Now, what else does Hims have that Amazon doesn't have? Hims has their own compounded pharmacies. They actually have three now. They have two 503A pharmacies and this new 503B pharmacy in Los Alamitos. So Hims is able to produce their own drugs. They're vertically integrated. Amazon is not. And this provides several benefits for Hims. Number one, it helps improve Hims' gross margins. And number two, it allows for personalization. And what this means is, well, number one, Amazon actually, when they need a these medications, they got to go out to a third party, say, hey, this third party pharmacy, please provide us these medications for our customers. So Amazon's really just an intermediary. They don't produce the drugs themselves. Hims is saying, you know what? We are going to personalize your medication. If this 50 milligram dose doesn't work for you, you can do 25 milligrams, you can do 35 milligrams, or they could sort of customize it for that user. And they can also do compounded medications. Um, and it's all customized, personalized for that customer. And Hims, or sorry, Amazon not, not able to do that. Another thing that Hims can do that Amazon cannot is um, suggestive advertising. So this is an actual ad by Hims, and it speaks for itself. Amazon couldn't get away with this. So what else is going on is that half of Hims's subscribers are now using are now using a personalized medication so it's over a million now over 1 million subscribers on hims are using personalized medication and that increased 175 percent year over year last quarter so that is a huge boom for hims over amazon and really all the others is a personalization factor um eh, i keep repeating that one i don't know why i repeated that one so long Another benefit for him is, is that once you sort of get subscribed to a medication and you like that medication, it's going it's difficult for a customer, a patient to switch medications. It's a big burden. You got to go to your doctor, you got to get a new prescription, you got to get this new medication um, finalized, you got to get the pills to you, and then you got to actually take it and see if there's side effects. It's a huge time-consuming process. So when you switch medications, it has to be for a reason. And if your existing medication is within your price range, and if it works for you, it's very sticky. This is the moat that they have as their existing subscriber base. And you can see here, Hims has an 85% long-term retention for their customers. And not only that, they're projecting their growth next quarter of 90% year over year. Hims is accelerating. They are accelerating. And remember, their market, their market cap is only $4.4 billion. They're accelerating 90% year over year next quarter at an adjusted bit to margin of 
let's say, let's call it 11%. Now, what does that mean? That means Hims has a forward PE of around 20, a little bit over 20 over the next 12 months. A forward PE of 20, when you are growing at 90%, is an absolutely insanely cheap, cheap PE. Now, why is it so cheap? It's cheap primarily because of the Amazon effect. It's the Amazon discount. It's why it's cheap. So if Amazon has any hitches or any issues, Himstock is going to explode off of that. And also, I think, off of their core fundamentals. Because what we're looking at here is Hims's fundamentals. And their fundamentals are strong, and they are getting stronger day by day, quarter by quarter. Hims is becoming synonymous with telehealth medications or stigmatized medication. So that's my main thing here. Um, also, their, their subscriber base grew 44% year over year. So their subscribers are growing fast. And 40% of that, of that is not GLP. And their revenue increased 77% year over year last quarter. You can see it's accelerating. The revenue growth is accelerating. So I see nothing wrong with HIMS. Personally, I think it's the way to go. And um, even Elon Musk chimed in, November fifteenth, making GLP inhibitors available at low cost to Americans who wish to use them would greatly improve healthcare and reduce healthcare costs. That's bullish. That is bullish. Even Deutsche Bank chimed in and said that the sell-off is, you know, exaggerated. It's a thirty-five percent sell-off was unwarranted. You can read the article for yourself, but they have a they have a price target of twenty seven dollars, which is cheap. My price target is let's just say about double today's price. It's in the mid forties. But if you want to see the actual price target, just visit my Patreon. You can get in for as little as five dollars. And guess what? I have a seven day free trial. So just join up, seven day free trial. You can download my DCF valuation model on Hims. Tesla, NVIDIA, AMD. I do these evaluations on over 15 different companies. So just check it out. And you know what? You get seven days for free. It is, you'll never find a better deal. So yeah, that's it for HIMS. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you in the next one.